So you guys might be wondering, where is the video of the Bill guy on this? This kind of took a while to sort out. I'm actually waiting on an adapter. Um, so the videos probably got pushed back a week or two, because I don't know when the adapter's going to get here. Um, I have made a few... I made one new upgrade. Um, because, you know... These 9th gens didn't really have a lot of USB 3, so we've added USB 3. Okay. So, that's what that board is right there. So, that's the change. So that's the adapter to make this cord go back here instead of here because it's messing with the door. That's the door. Um, then this will be ready to go downstairs and I can start gaming on it. Because I can have this shut. And until I do a power supply upgrade and I probably will do a power supply upgrade. And just throw away the $55 I wasted on that. So a lot of people said I should put a 600 watt here. Just to be on the safe side. And I don't think I'm going to do that. I just have to look up what 600 watts will fit this. Which ain't that brand. Because it took a while for that brand. Uh, for this particular one to start working. So... Because I wanted to use that one, but that one, the stupid, uh, power plug was going way over here, so that's like a whole bunch you gotta cut off, so. So I put back the old gaming PC to get ready to sell it. So it's got my 600 watt power supply that I can't use in that, and then the 560. RX 560. I almost got a 28 or uh, 680 to upgrade that one, but I heard a GT 1070 is just a superior graphics card, so that's why I went with the GT 1070 for this build. But I wanted to use that power supply because I like the black cables. I hate the mu mustard and ketchup, but my wool. Fans use the mustard and ketchup cables, so I still think it looks good. Yeah, this is the cable management is a little wrong, but it's kind of hard to do perfect cable management on a pre-built, especially a small form factor compared to this, which is bigger, but it still can be kind of messy. But a lot of the cords high in here on this one. And it's a big performance jump from going from an i5-2400 to an i5-9400. It's like night and day, which is better. So, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to get quite a few years out of this, this thing compared to that. Having two extra cords. So... And this having a built-in M2, well, that doesn't. So that one can only use SSDs. Um, I, I am thinking of adding at least a 1 terabyte, 2 gigabyte regular SSD. Maybe not use the laptop drive. But I don't know. But yeah, we're just waiting on the adapter for this so this cable isn't this way so the case can close so I don't want these getting cut because it slams it's pretty much smushed between this so it's an extra like ten dollar ship so hopefully it comes in quick So that video should be out 
hopefully next week or the week after that, I hope. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.